You've probably heard by now a lot about using coaching within leadership, or that command and control style of leadership is actually dead, and you need to switch to a coaching style of leadership. Now, if you're trying to make this switch, or if you already have, then I know that you will find today's video helpful in becoming a more effective coach for those that you lead. Hi, I'm John English. Welcome to Wednesday's Wisdom here at Ancient Wisdom Leadership. There's aspects in the ancient wisdom teachings about relationships that directly relate to coaching, and they're especially helpful and effective for coaching in business. First, all relationships are about personal growth, because it's almost impossible for anyone to grow without the mirror of other people. In our ancient wisdom leadership skills training, we spend a lot of time working with your view of the world and specifically about how to expand it. Now, to expand someone else's view of the world involves coaching. It involves relationship, observation, and coaching questions to determine their view of the world. And then using coaching questions, along with intentionally using inspiration, to expand their view of the world. Helping someone expand their view of the world which includes all of their limiting beliefs about themselves, is of great benefit to you and to them. We call this a mutually beneficial outcome. So how can you determine a team member's view of the world, how it's holding them back, and how you can coach them into expanding it and growing as an employee and a human being? Again, the keys are relationship, observation, and coaching. You need to have a relationship with each person on your team that lets them know you care about their growth, contribution, and about them as a human being. You need to observe them to see how they're trying to grow. So here's a few questions you can ask yourself to help with this. What holds them back? What challenges do they continually come up against? Where do they create problems that take them in the opposite direction of their goals or make achieving their goals more difficult? And then you can use these questions about their view of the world. What do they believe about themselves that are limitations to excelling? Or what do they believe about themselves that directly opposes what they want to achieve? A couple of examples of this could be a person who sees themselves as less than others, or they see themselves as a victim. Then you look for opportunities to expand their view of the world about what's possible for them by coaching them. Now, a key to being good at this is to ask questions that guide them into the conclusion that they need to release their self-imposed limitations. Now, I realize that we covered a lot here in this short video, so feel free to comment and ask me any questions about applying this. This is John. Until next time, lead with a commanding presence.